Hey everybody, Joe Mead here with Centerpoint Yacht Sales in our Door County showroom just south of Sturgeon Bay on Highway 4257. And I just want to take you on a brief walkthrough and features inspection of the Pursuit DC246. So this one is optioned out in Neptune gray hull color with a black bootstripe and got the full hard top. Give you a quick uh, profile view here. Really, really sharp combination. <clears throat> We've got this one sitting on a custom fit Phoenix trailer, tandem axle, and this boat is powered by a single Yamaha V6 300 horse outboard. So climbing aboard here, uh, biggest thing that I immediately notice are these huge swim platforms to either side. So even though you're on a 24 foot dual console boat with an outboard, you've got a huge amount of space back here. Draining storage. Some of the fishing features include a live well and big fish box. Of course, these back benches, all convertible. So you can have this entire area of the boat uh, set up for entertaining or lounging like this. And it can be serviced by the sink wet bar here and pull out Yeti cooler. Or you can close this all off and have your big fishing cockpit. And again, look at the size of the hardware on this. This is just classic pursuit. Everything is overdone in a good way. Um, but yeah, you can close this all off and have kind of a really nice fishing platform, fishing area here. A lot of great drainage. Um, of course, a closing latched boarding door. And then these are actually the removable uh, puck mounts for where your aft sunshade will go. Rod holders everywhere, hideaway stainless steel cleats, and then space for your removable tow pylon. Big hard top, obviously has your VHF antenna mounts and, whip and uh, whips, connectors, quick release for your sunshade, and then your flag. Forward and aft spreader lights. This boat can be fully enclosed. You see the track here, so there's isinglass between the hard top and the hard top, hard top and windshield, sorry. And of course, you can shut this center piece of the windshield, and then this door here. In late season or early season, this entire spot can be out of the wind and very comfortable. That's a huge detail that a lot of boats don't always have, so keep an eye out for that. Starboard side, we've got our helm chair, flip-up bolster, arm rails. Um, we have our digital Yamaha engine display to the left. We've got our JL Audio main system in the middle, and then anchored by a Garmin uh, touchscreen multifunction display to the starboard side. Our uh, Lenco trim tabs with indicators, ignition switching, push to start, our big tilt uh, Edson steering wheel, digital throttle control to the right, cup holders, some charging ports, and then all of our switching here for lights, nav lights, uh, washer, bilge, all that stuff, live well. Um, fiberglass molded in uh, toe kick. So again, this can be very comfortable if you're sitting down, lots of great visibility or with the bolster up. Um, so you got plenty of headroom, a lot of space. Again, even standing up in this boat, I'm a little over six feet tall. So you can see I've got plenty of headroom moving forward and back under this hard top. So that's another thing that I really like about it because it's easy to move around on the deck uh, and you don't have to worry about, you know, getting hung up on anything uh, moving throughout the boat. To the port side, we have this nice forward and aft facing settee console. Um, this bench actually, comes out to be more of a chase lounge and will connect to that jump seat. So this will be an entire L-shaped bench and seating area, which is really nice. Stereo system throughout. Everybody's part of the action. We've got some really nice slide out storage here. Huge ski locker down below. So a lot of space. Um, and another thing that I really like about this boat on the, you know, the 246 here is we've got a head. So You've got a very sizable head for a 24 foot boat, um, something that you don't often see. And again, all this hardware and everything is really well done. Oversized, classic pursuit uh, fashion. To the starboard side, additional storage, dedicated storage for um, your filler cushions for the bow and table. And then also your main power uh, switching and stuff like that there behind the helm. 
We open up the windscreen door in the windshield to step into the bow area. And of course we have two big loungers. We have a mount for a table, so this can be a socializing space or a sun lounge, and then there's filler cushions. So this entire thing can be one big sun pad. And uh, again, you know, I'm not short per se, but I can easily comfortably stretch all the way out here. Um, and you're in a comfortable ride, comfortable seated position, grab handles everywhere. Um, and again, kids, grandkids, it's great. You can be kneeling up here, it's padded, it's safe, there's railings, um, and it's a really fun, fun place in the boat to ride. Accent lighting, stereo system, and then this really great catch-all storage to both sides. Uh, moving all the way forward, um, you got your waste pump out, water fill, Lumar electric windlass, and your locker. You have a remote control, and then your nav lights, and everything else. This can be shut down and you've got actually a really big platform here. Uh, you know, if you wanna jump off the bow when you're at your favorite spot um, or just need to step up here to dock the boat, anything like that. A um, lot of great access throughout the whole thing. <clears throat> More quick release clips for your hard top sail shade. Forward spreader light. Really clean setup on the 246. Uh, anyway, give us a call, 888-9-YACHTS, or stop in to see this boat. We can set up a virtual or in-person appointment. Uh, stop on down. Thanks.